Werner Tobin here at the World Dairy Expo, catching up with uh, Peter Grotus, who is the managing director of Agritechnica, which really is the world's largest trade fair for agricultural machinery. Peter, welcome. Thanks for taking the time. Thank you very much for being here and interviewing me. Thank you. Peter, f for farmers who don't know a lot, North American farmers, about Agritechnica, tell us about it. It really is where innovation happens. Ah, that's actually true. We are already, for a couple of years, we are actually the world leader in innovation in agri agri-tech. And uh, we are the meeting place in the middle of uh, Germany for customers from all over the world, actually. So we do have uh, approximately 40 hectares of exhibition ground on the roof. And all the innovations from all over the world uh, that will serve the farmer to do his job better uh, will be displayed there. So 2,800 exhibitors from all over the world, 450,000 visitors we do expect. And approximately 110,000 from outside of Germany, which is a huge mass of people mm -hmm. coming here in order to see what's new, what can they actually uh, implement on their farm or in their investment opportunities. Um, last year, Real Agriculture made the trip. We go every year, obviously every second year, because the, the, it, it runs every, every two years. Um, we're always excited to go. Why should North American farmers make the trip? Well, I think they see all their uh, people that display machinery, new technology, new digital uh, in innovations, especially because uh, digital management is going forth. And I think they're going to learn not only from the exhibitors, but also from their colleagues, farmers from all over the world. That's why we have such a wonderful meeting places like uh, international farmers' lounges, etc., like that, because farmers actually trust farmers, more or less. That's why industry is picking up more farmers as dealer or um, uh, people that give advice to them. Yeah. So whenever you want to learn something for your future, I think Agritechnica is the best place to come. Last year we were there, saw tremendous, tremendous innovation, especially with a focus on robotics. And as I say, we did many, many yeah. reports. What might we see this year in Hanover? Well, robotic is the end of automation, more or less. Uh, we will see more robots coming, but they're still in a pre-phase. Pre but we see more uh, innovations uh, coming out of our innovation um, um, process. We've got uh, 39 innovation winners this year, and we've got a fully automated electrical uh, gear plug from John Deere, for example, that is winning a gold medal this year. Awesome. Hey, a couple of thoughts here about World Dairy Expo. Um, you know, uh, you know, what do you see in a show like this when you visit? You know, what you know, what what can you take home? Well, first of all, we wanted to understand the the mindset of the American farmer. That's why we are actually here. I want to see how are they organizing uh, platforms for knowledge exchange and uh, innovations. Uh, for us, we do also run a livestock uh, exhibition like Eurotier which is probably the dominant um, uh, exhibition for livestock professionals in the world. Uh, also having about 2,800 exhibitors and 150,000 uh, specialists in four days, also in Hanover, in Germany again. And we wanted to compare our s mindset with the mindset that is displayed here. So animals you will hardly find in our show, for example, but a lot of technology, but a lot of digital equipment, a lot of barns, stables, feeding, everything that a farmer needs to run his business better. Final question for you, uh, Peter. Uh, you've been around here not too long, just a day or so. What's caught your eye? Well, for me, it was uh, astonishing how, how many animals are here. Two and a half thousand, I think. Uh, now, being America is a little bit different set of regulations than in Europe. For us, it uh, would be impossible, nearly impossible, to introduce that to a show like that. Uh, we have a small show there, but what we saw here is uh, a lot of little progress in, let's say, um, the diagnosis of, of animals. So also with camera-based, etc., like that we already have for pigs or hogs. We do have that already, but now it's also for the bigger animals. That was actually very interesting for us. It's a startup, and we also introduce startup areas in all our exhibitions because we think uh, that they give a new momentum to innovations. That's why we are very much looking into that. Well, lots to see here, Peter. Lots to see in Hanover in November. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you at Agritechnica. Looking forward to see you, and all Americans are more than welcome to 
come to our place. Thank you very much.